<coughs> Yo. So, this is... This is an amazing person here. Angelina, I believe. <laughs> I, I will, uh... Give, give the channel... Give her... Medium a, uh, a recog with the ignition, so you guys can check that out. And I highly recommend you guys check this person out. She has a uh, a fire about her, a a passion, and a clarity, and that's that's why she is so fired up is because she is so fucking clear and she she sees the fucking corruption and the bullshit and she has decided to speak on it and bear her heart and her her whole beingness To what she feels, and it's it's powerful. This person is fucking powerful. So yeah, I just want to start off by saying thank you for being who you are. Uh, for for pretty much anyone who who sees any of my videos, or. Uh, continues to engage with the inner landscape thank you for doing your inner work thank you for feeling into the fucking real we're, we're reaching an uh, escalation where uh we're, we're at like <laughs> the peak amount of of people totally ignoring what the fuck they're doing inside and then just absolutely projecting and seeking vindication seeking uh, their own little warped views of what is right for them not realizing what they are doing to themselves ultimately So I, I haven't watched hardly any of this, so this is going to be very much in the uh, Mayan Jin style. <laughs> and right at the beginning, I'm going to correct her, kind of. But she, she, she does this herself. So uh, it's just going to be a reminder. Uh, also, I wanted to say that I quite liked Mayan Jin's last video. That he did, and then took down or made private or whatever the fuck. So that was a little disappointing. But whatevs. I felt like it was needed. I I, I felt I I I was I was vibing it. And it's not about. Uh, bashing or, or putting uh, a certain kind of uh, light upon someone. It's just calling people out for uh, what you see, for what, what you feel in the moment. And I appreciated that video. And I made several... C this has been a few times where I've made several comments on your videos and then you take it down. So there's got just there's got to be some correlation there. <laughs> but yeah, that that uh that video was Jay Dreamers and uh he didn't even get into the point where uh Zen was and I I rewatched that Jay Dreamers video and uh 
was able to witness the uh, the parts where where Zen at man uh, commented, and to tell you the truth, it was a little a little weird. I did not get a good vibe from the whole the whole thing. Oftentimes, and I do uh, get inspiration from J Dreamers, but oftentimes it's I feel I feel where people's core is. I feel where people where people's heart is. And so if that is on is in shaky foundations, then uh, their message is going to be here and there. They're going to have bits and pieces of truth, but ultimately their own skewed version of reality is going to keep them from realizing the inner truth and you fucking know this people you fucking know this whenever you present some some real shit to people and they and they fucking cower or, or they make fun of it come on like and you're gonna keep supporting these kinds of people that have their foundations not stable what what the fuck are you doing dude I mean, you just you just kind of made it clear, uh, and then you made a video Zen, where uh, someone said uh, you you exposed your ego, and then I made a comment on that video as well. But and the words don't betray the the uh, reflections and inflections, the the emotions here, but. All you gotta do is be able to fucking bear witness to the shit that's going on and people expose themselves time and time again. They can't help themselves. So all you gotta do is see things for how they really are. It's all you gotta fucking do. And how you do that is you get clear. You, you fucking do the shit that you need to do to get clean and clear inside of you. Maybe I'll make a, a different video about the, the suck ass that I witnessed. And that was uh, painful to watch. But that's for another time. Now we're going to switch gears and, and get back into this. So sorry for that little rant. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. But uh, there's there's just been several things that have been uh, dwelling and welling up within. So that was just like, uh, you know, a tip uh, of the fucking little minuscule piece of the tip of the iceberg. That I could just blast off on, rant on. But no, this, this spotlight is, is with this lady and her passion. And the connection that I have with certain individuals that have this kind of energy about them, passion, fluidity, and emotion. So the practical significance of valuing energy over appearance is that our own energy usage or consumption is something that we have control over. And this is the thing here, the the appearance is going to be a reflection of the energy. And this is why uh, oftentimes we 
the clearer we get within, the uh, the more beauty you are able to witness without, because the clearer that connection becomes. And uh, that happens with people as well. Their whole fucking body transforms. We are transformers. Uh, we do this at will. We do this without even realizing that we're doing it most of the fucking time. Our, our complete uh, system recreates itself on a cellular level. And it does so in attunement with the energetics. So there's no separation here. But she, she goes on to, to, to say that basically anyways. Uh, individually. Uh, personally. Right? What is a good word for that? It's all... It's insular. The control we have of our own energetic meaning is completely and literally our own control of it. Okay, so what's so the the big deal? And yes, uh, ooh, that's a lot of light for the, for this camera. That's, that's absolutely not what I'm witnessing right here. Deal about the big deal about having practical values. When your conscious body, when your conscious vessel is primarily for the proper use of the energy, right? So exactly, we have, and that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, she she knows what the fuck's up. The uh, the vessel reflects the energetic uh, transmissions and the transmutations, the integrations that we have cultivated. So this uh, concept of beauty that that we have been taught. Uh, it's in the eye of the beholder for sure, but you know what? What level of clarity is that eye uh, witnessing? What is it able to take in? What kind of light and a cleansed lens is is this eye operating with? Um, a system, when we have an energetic system, like the human system that we are, this biological system, a part of, a part of that is having um, mental capacity or the mind, okay? So, with that being said, um, it's also very important to say the the current value system that we operate under um, is about appearance. It's all about appearance, is it? Yeah, I mean, and what she's saying with that is it's uh, superficial. It's uh, the focusing on the exoteric. And, and ignoring, being taught to ignore. It's a taught ignorance here, people. It's an indoctrination of ignorance. This is our education system. To ignore the esoterics of your reality, of your own beingness, of dissolving the illusions and the separation that you have been taught to engage. And this shit, the, the setup that, that we are in right now, it is, uh, it, it has been masterfully uh, designed. 
and uh, they've had all the fucking time in the world to do so. Because when we'll, we'll get into we'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, how they were able to perpetuate this? Because you would think, you know, oh, uh, people live and die, you know, a certain amount of years, and so how 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 has this been happening for so long? Well, once you get into the spirits. And reincarnation and reintegration. Once you get privy to certain things, once you become aware of your own beingness, of how you can project yourself into different timelines, into different bodies, into different awarenesses, into different aspects of beingness, then you start to put a little bit more pieces of the puzzle together and realize how this has been perpetuated. And why do I say that? Because, um, so, if you've ever heard of the term, like, trickle-down economics, right? Nope. Um, basically what that's alluding to is, you know, whatever... Yeah, and before she goes into it, uh, that, that's the whole fucking, uh, scheme here. It's a pyramid scheme. The fucking trickle-down effect. And then the and then the the few that are on the capstone disconnected from the rest of the fucking body of the pyramid. They're not uh, entangled with the fucking lies and deceit that they have created and perpetuated. And this trickle down effect happens upon every fucking layer and level of uh, society. Um, no matter what kind of business that you go into, or uh, whatever it is, you will see that the corruption and the ignorance trickles down onto everyone else. So what I encourage people to do is try to seek this, this original, this... Uh, root causality of corruption, of ignorance. Seek it out, find it, and that is going to... Dealing with that is going to have a trickle-down effect in and of itself. The carrier is of the system, right? So, in our mindscape we understand things eventuating from the top down basically okay so yeah. everything is influenced by something and whatever holds the most influence or the greatest mass or the greatest force push movement is what eventuates um the trickling down of that energy for all into the uh, the whole room. Yeah. So she's talking about influence and area of influence and uh, the originator of the uh, influence, what causes uh, the influence to happen and perpetuate. This is just, uh, yeah, I don't know, this is just very bizarre times right now. I think this is uh, about the full moon area that we're in right now. So there's a lot of reflecting that's happening, even as I'm speaking right now. Like, my words are reverberating uh, and echoing in my mind. Uh, so I'm like, contemplating the things that I say right after I say them. 
and it's uh it's very intriguing and interesting a little distracting <laughs> for 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 uh the purpose of you know making this video for y'all <sighs> But everything has its purpose and its place, and this is where we have been distracted and uh, encouraged to engage is the ignorance of where the placement is meant to be, where the pure position and the purpose of things are meant to be. And this isn't like everything has a distinct and distinct and fixated purpose and position. This is everything has its own reasoning and and ooh, words and yeah, just just reasons why. They come about and spring and sprout and grow for you and your experience. This is all for you, people. If you haven't realized this yet, this shit is all for you. But we're not really able to engage that that much unless you can just disconnect and go out in nature and just be then you can tap back into it. But uh, once you come back into the fucking shit show, rat race, bullshit, psycho circus, merry-go-round that is this world, then uh, you, you lose track. You forget about the meaning. The purity, the clarity within the purity. So easily sidetracked. And this is why uh, there's an entertainment business to keep people distracted from what's going on within them. As of the system, any given system. Now. With us agreeing to be a part of, for instance, I'll use the governmental system as an example. Yep. For, with us agreeing to be a part of that, it immediately, it, less than, more quickly than immediately, um, causes us to share the same values. Right, whether consciously or unconsciously, and, and what I mean by that is, if you know anything about law, then you know, and I mean man's law, if you know anything about man's law, then you know that technically the only way to ever be legally bound by something is to agree with it and sign a contract agreeing to it, right? With your sin. Ah. This is this is beautiful. We're getting into the legalese and the maritime law and the uh, the straw man. And uh, unfortunately, though, uh, your life was signed away by your parents uh, as soon as your birth certificate was signed and uh, if you want to get that value back that is a whole nother uh, pathway and uh, avenues to traverse and ultimately you can do that and, and you can get that um, but you uh, you need to be ready for what's going to happen after you do that, uh, because you're not going to be able to live the same kind of life. You, you, you're going to have to have your shit set up first, so that you have your community set up, 
and there's no there's really no communities like this in as far as uh, the United States this hasn't happened yet but we're on the precipice here of uh, some some pretty amazing shite and this has everything to do with taking back our identity our uh, Our beingness that has been sucked away through this legalese uh, corruption shite. The spells and spellings that we have been taught and encouraged to engage. Right. So, for instance, we're a part of this governmental system, right? They want to govern the mental, Mind. right? Literally, that's like what that means. Yeah. Um, it's not shocking. Okay, <laughs> it's right there in plain English. Um, <sighs> Etymologize your life. Is okay. So when we agree to be a part of that without signing, without giving our signature, or be, or um. Oh, damn. As, yeah, but like I said, like realize the root words, realize the root, uh, the root races, the root causalities, uh, the roots in your language, uh, the corruption in the language, so that you don't truly get to understand the roots, of the vibrations, the resonances, the sci the fucking cymatics of how you create your reality. Every time you reverberate a fucking sound, what's what? What is happening? And this goes back into my you know uh, video about uh, the psyche and the psychedelics, tapping back into the original primordial essence of what is happening. Whenever you just emote a sound. Whenever you vibrate, whenever you think about something, that is a vibration. Realizing the layers of vibration, the esoterics of it, the hermetic teachings of vibration and, and sound and cymatics and mind. Take time, quote unquote, to emit your own vibration, to listen to it, see it for what it is, listen to the vibrations of nature and the living book that is written around you is always constantly being written. And you are the co-author of this book of living. Just, yeah, just living life. Like, everyone's a creator in creating this. So wake up to what you are doing to yourself first and foremost. Then, maybe... We can start to unite and connect and recollect and then begin to transmit and emit a time of a union and communion and remembrance. Ever being informed upon what we are agreeing with, when we do that, we're automatically adopting the values of those who supposedly hold the authority of said system. Um, and so the, so the people who know that, who quote-unquote run the system, 
Um, I love the sliding. We automatically adopt their values. What are their values? Well, for starters, if they're okay to... Their values. <laughs> their agenda. That is what they uh, are subjecting people to, but also implanting into the minds of uh, the youth. To, and, and because that that's the key thing here, is... Uh, okay, fuck it. So, uh... The whole fucking scheme is is to trick the fucking young, Tr trick. Because if you haven't already fucking realized it, uh, they're, they're the closest to fucking God or Creator or what, what the fuck ever that that you're gonna get to in uh, human embodiment. So uh, purity, the the innocence, right? We talk about innocence. Uh, what does that word really mean? It means uh, something different for everyone. But uh, in the purest form, it means uh, unadulterated, uh, which, which is adult, a, a fucking moron uh, projecting the ideology upon a perfect being, a child. That's... Yes, maybe they weren't born in a perfect, uh, you know, uh, agree, agreement and... Uh, In a way that they were brought into the world with with love and acknowledgement, but uh, they're still they're still very close to God, and so uh, if you haven't noticed, like it, it's the corruption that has been happening, uh, getting people uh, of younger and younger and younger ages more sexualized, more. Uh, basically, essentially corrupted into ideologies of perversion. And if you think sex is is fine and well and whatever, that's good. Good for you. Uh, you can have sexual healing. You can heal in certain aspects, but. Uh, for the uh, ninety percent of people, sex is not a good thing because they are not healing. They are projecting. They are seeking something outside of themselves to make themselves feel good. And then, unfortunately, uh, more people are sprouting up out of that because they they don't know how to control their inner systems. And you can have sex and, and tantric engagements without creating a new uh, embodiment, but uh, not very many people can do that because they're not in control of their fucking shites. And so uh, the ignorance just keeps on reproducing. Uh, children keep on having more, ch more children, and no one's really growing up or learning, and this is part of the fucking program. Is to keep people ignorant and to keep reproducing people who are uh, disenchanted and basically disembodied, uh, disempowered, that do not understand and understand, overstand their true roots of who they are. And this has been a long process, people. Uh, because the last uh, cycle uh, that we went through, we we were very much in communion with with who we we were, who we are, our origins, and then that was stamped out and hunted. Uh, but this time. We we finally caught on to, to the fucking cycle, and we we allowed it to happen, and we went to sleep. We went into hibernation mode, and in doing so, uh, that that seemed like on the outside that we gave in 
that we just uh, gave up. But that couldn't be further from the truth. We went into a deep sleep and we are waking the fuck up now. And every little single thing that has been used against us is going to be used to re-enliven and cause more and more remembrance and connection. It's already happening. If you aren't connected and aware of it. Which if you're listening to this, you, you probably most likely are. charge people a penalty to be a part of something they never agreed to what what does that sound like to you criminals right yeah. Sorry, criminals. they are running a criminal organization and they're charging you a penalty to be a part of it even though you never agreed okay none of us have um in fact since the constitution was written no one has been asked formally if they agree to be a part of this union, okay? So that's just for starters. You're now, what it. else do they value? Um, they value... Uh, don't, don't go... <laughs> I haven't listened to this yet. Don't go too deep with that uh, because that's that's going to put you in a certain category. And uh, when, once you shed so much light, it, it puts you in a certain... Uh, place where all the fucking little minions and demons inside of people and this is something that we have to realize that's happening people is that these this darkness it, it's, it's it's reaching us through other people and oftentimes it's through our own uh family or the people that we thought were closest to us uh as we wake up uh we realize uh, we bear witness to the corruption uh, being projected at us through the ones that are closest to our heartstrings. Uh, this is just many of us have went through this with many many lifetimes, and it uh, it never gets easy, people. It never gets fucking easy. Uh, we think we are reaching someone's heart, and we are, and then we we fail to realize the degree of the corruption and the separation. And then we leave ourselves open for yet another terror in the heart, another scar. Appearances, right? Because they all sit at home and they abuse their own families. Now, you have to understand, from their view, they're not, from their view, it is an abuse, okay? From their view, this is how they need to live their lives in order to procure or accrue this or collect yeah. these Call. penalty from all of the like lowly peasants and not and, and whatnot, right? So, and that's such a deep thing. Uh, the the people at certain places of power and influence, they uh, they know how the shit works, and they go about their business. Taking essence from people not realizing that they are further and further degrading their their soul. So the, the pyramid has to be flipped upside down in upon itself. The uh the few have to be uh, become the bottom. The few at the top have to become the bottom. The many uh, have to rise. And this isn't something that's going to be given, people. You, we have to 
and, and this is something that's happening is the the rising the resurrection that's happening this isn't a resurrection of uh, you know a messiah if you want to see it that way it, it's a resurrection of an awareness a felt connection a gnosis that's happening with with more and more people and this is a snowball effect that's happening but just because we're able to witness that this is happening, that doesn't mean that, uh, you know, the work has been done. That, that just means that we're able to finally see that more and more people are feeling, and now it's time to put the fucking work in to change how everything has been set up. From the ground up, we have to remind people of what is true. We have to engage it and live it. That's how we're. That's how we're going to spread this shit. We have to live it. And so, speaking in terms of energetics versus face value or appearance, right? We are all living our lives, blood, sweat, and tears, okay? Working our jobs to take care of our children or our, ourselves, even if we don't have a family, right? Um, even the people who are homeless, right? They're judged uh, based off of appearance for not adhering to the system of appearances in the correct way. So, you know, a lot of us are ju homeless or not, we're judged for being different because we don't appear the way that, this, that the system has precipitated itself into our collective subconscious mind as nice. being acceptable socially, yep. right? So people literally spend their whole lives doing a back-breaking either labor, physical labor, mental labor, emotional labor, yeah. just to conform to this ideology Idea. of the Yes, yes. What is yes. that? Uh, and it's the dream, right? It's, you know, the American dream or whatever the fuck dream that has been encapsulated in Placed upon uh, a people, um, it's it's in a spell that has been casted to where people want to live up to a certain ideology, and par partially uh, because of the influence of the peers, of the family, of their surroundings, they think that they are doing this for a good, for a cause. But they, uh, they feel to realize that the cause is corrupted. The cause is not of the uh, family. It's it's of a certain few that want to call awareness and upon themselves and cause mass chaos, mass confusion, mass ignorance. And that has been successfully done. And so, uh, like I've said before, we are now seeing the, the peak, the rise of this mass confusion and mass ignorance happen. So, uh, pay attention. To the people that got caught up in this fucking bullshit storm, re realize that you can become the eye of the storm and see it for what it is. Allow it to uh, run its course, but always being in your center. Part of the process.
clearing out the fucking garbage. Finding, realizing, feeling the quintessential essence of who and what you are, what we all are. Really worth other than stress. What is it? What are we seeking? What are we? Um, is is it fulfilling? Are appearances fulfilling? No, they're not. Um, and that's why a lot of people have problems accepting that the upper class or the elite are the way that they are because we all believe, right? We all believe in valuing the appearance of yeah. success. But, but we need to stop and we need to take a step back and we need to think about it. What does success mean? Exactly. Because it, there's a meaning. Um, success doesn't mean having meaningless quantitative value built up in one's bank account or one's pocket, okay? okay. What does it That's mean? That's not what success okay. actually means. Okay. It's what not it what mean? success... It is not the sum uh -huh. of success. And in fact, um, most of the people I've ever met in my life who are wealthy or who chase money are... The, they're yeah. disturbingly... Uh, Disconnected put together. Uh, yeah. They're very stressed out. They're not put together. They don't have a sense of humor. They don't have any A emotions. sense of being It's this. like, so cool, you spent all that time for us to sit here in your nice house and we can't even have a real conversation? Exactly. Awesome. Great. No, then there it. are some who are actually like very disturbing and they go around like committing murder to, to feed uh, their teens. Okay, <laughs> so... And among many other Don't things, go too and deep here. It. And it's Thank no you. Secret, and it's no surprise. Exactly. Right? Those with ears to hear. Exactly. <laughs> but anyway, um, oh, thank you. Then you know there are a few people who I've met that are great yeah. entrepreneurs, historical exactly. entrepreneurs, there you and go. Uh, they made their money honestly and serving collective needs for people, right? Um, but then in the same breath, I know some people who were entrepreneurs and it seems like they serve the needs of the greater collective yeah, society. Yeah, they wear the masks. When in actuality, it was subversive technology to begin with. Uh -huh. And after it's been running the program for so long, only then can they present it in a way that seems peaceable or or um, useful um in any in in, in in like a practically applicable way or a helpful way or whatever okay but anyway what i'm saying is you know i know i blew up in that last video about like oh this and that oh, i'm so upset but it was because really like that we should be upset about exactly. that sort of behavior right if we're living breathing conscious energetic biological beings why should we stand by and witness the perversion of our own energy bodies? And we should, it's not, you know, and we won't. And the more that we can talk about these <laughs> things openly and honestly, the more awareness that will be around because of our ability to discuss it. This girl is fucking awesome, um, dude. But in this, you know, video, I just, like, I, you know, I have some health problems and I don't really know what's going on right now. And um, it makes me nervous, you know. And I've been thinking, if if I die tomorrow, like, what, what do I feel like I need to say? And it is mostly what has been touched on here. Um, the reality of energetic responsibility versus the falsity of valuing appearances you know that it's, it's a false appearance what, what she's basically talking about is the appearance of uh, of looking a certain way being a certain way because of the image the the false image that has been propagated and this is constantly constantly being pushed out uh now to the point where it's being pushed out so far that it's going to <laughs> it's, it's very humorous it's going to uh disintegrate and uh collapse in upon itself
So she, she, she's, this whole thing is about what you really are. What do you fucking feel that you are? And does that have anything to do with uh, the, a certain image that has been placed upon you? No. It has everything to do with what you feel, the images you place upon yourself, the images you place upon the world. That is where it starts, where it begins. How we change this shit is we start with ourselves. We start with the power of our own imagery. The power with our the power of our own clarity. Getting clear. And uh, I wasn't aware of the health issues you talked about here, but I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, utilize your own waters. Utilize distillation utilize uh, taking away in order to get more of a certain something and that something is clarity and an awareness within gnosis don't allow doctors to dictate your mentality don't allow other people that have been quote-unquote educated and learned to tell you that you are sick and diseased whenever you are obviously in a state of uh, clarity that's way beyond them. Angelina, if that is your name, dude, you're fucking vibrating with, with, with health and uh, clarity. So, these health issues that, that you, um, I don't know if it's that you've been led to believe that you have, or whatever. First and foremost, it stems with you. It stems from within. Uh, it stems from the emotional first. And then uh, eventually it becomes more and more uh, dense and physical. And uh, obviously, uh, anyone can tell that you are you are dealing with dealing with a whole plethora of different emotions and energies and ideologies, and trying to integrate and uh, and and sharing this. It's fucking magical, dude. Like you're. You're helping a lot of people heal and feel again. And ultimately, you are paving the way for your own integration, your own awareness back into health and wholeness, a holistic integration, uh, and, uh, dude, I, I know, it's, it's a fucking, it's a lot to take in, it's a lot to fucking integrate, it's too much at times, it's fucking too much, and, and we want out, uh, I fucking know, dude, but we're here for a reason, we, we stuck it out for a reason, We decided to keep doing this shit for a fucking reason. The mentality is always going to be first and foremost before the physicality. So if you just think that you are whole and clear and well Eventually, the body will attune to this. And I know you know this shit. I know you fucking know this shit. This is just a reminder. All I, all I offer for you people is just reminders of what the fuck you already fucking know. Alright? I'm not here to teach you. I'm here to remind you of what the fuck is inside of you.
And to see so many of you fucking uh, beautiful fucking people who uh, who start to listen to doctors or start to listen to their uh, parents or their peers about uh, why they are having certain reactions or symptoms um, about things. Uh, Stop. Just fucking stop. Like, stop listening to things outside of you. Start listening to what the fuck's going on inside of you. Because you know what the fuck's up. You know the real deal. You are integrating a great deal. And this is going to have several different kinds of effects that happen on your mentality, on your emotional state, upon your physical state. And some of these symptoms may be dramatic and the people around you who may witness these things may freak the fuck out because they don't know what's going on. But you know what the fuck's going on deep down. True health and the wealth of your health. The wealth of your beingness, the holistic culmination, reintegration Keep seeking this, keep engaging this. Realize what is going on. Re-empower yourselves. To feel again. To start engaging with all of life again. And if you don't know where to go, if you don't know the first thing to do for this, just stop what you're doing. Just fucking stop. This is This is what, like, Deep level shamans and gurus will tell you. Will will tell the initiate. F what? Just fucking stop. And of course, the people are like, well, "What do you mean? What, 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 what do I need to stop? Uh, uh, oh, tell me, tell me, tell me now. Tell me specifically." Okay, I'll tell you. Okay, what you're doing right now? Fucking stop it. Stop thinking. Get the fuck out in nature and just be. Heal your mind. Your mind is fucking fucked, alright, people? It is. I, I don't care who you are. If you're listening to this, your mind is fucked. So go out in nature and get your fucking mind right. And then maybe you can come back and start to reintegrate and start to really understand some things. Less is more, alright? Take away from the shit that's around you and then eventually you're going to distill that inner fucking pearl that you are you're going to finally touch upon your own light cut this shit out as in stop just fucking stop just be. Go out in solitude. Find your own little inner sanctuary. And just fucking be. And if you can open your heart up. In that kind of surrounding. Then you're going to fucking melt. You're going to go through whatever you need to go through. Whatever kind of breakdown you need to have. Allow that to happen. Because it needs to happen. So that you can fucking feel the real again. Then... You can begin to heal. So yeah. I'll watch the rest of this. Uh, after this here.
reintegrate what you really are and all the fucking aspects of what it means to be a human man and wom wom man wom the womb the hues all the colors integrate all of them all the aspects all the emotions and energies and essences you were designed this this is why you are with uh, a purpose you want to talk about a purpose your purpose is to distill and transmute and transform and integrate all of the shit that is your purpose that's it and then where, wherever you take it from there then that's your purpose see your purpose is your choice but realize that the form of the human man is integration is balance Find the balance. Seek the true root causalities of why things are the way they are. First within. Then you're going to be able to see more and more clearly without. Peace.